All right, Thanksgiving Day feast. First, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I have here so I can start eating and then I'll tell you more about this challenge as I go. I have some, obviously some turkey. It's mostly turkey breast. I have some peas, some delicious looking um, sprouts, Brussels sprouts and carrots. I have a traditional stuffing, a squash. I have uh, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce. I have some uh, rolls here and plenty of gravy. It's real homemade gravy. And then underneath these rolls, I have an apple pie. I weighed all this thing up. I think it came out to be a little over 14 and I, like 14 and a half, maybe a little bit more with everything here. The That didn't include the rolls, which probably don't weigh much. So who cares? But there's also a two pound um, apple pie. So 16 and a half pounds approximately. And for my drink, I'm not drinking my traditional blue drink. I'm drinking, because I really don't drink this that often. I only drink that during the videos. People think I drink that all the time. No, I only drink that during my video stuff. This is what I drink most of the time. I drink uh, Diet Snapple uh, Peach Iced Tea. So it's one of my favorite things. So I figured I'd have that with my Thanksgiving Day meal, because it's more like something I traditionally have. And I got my contest Nathan's Cup to drink it out of. So, all right. So yeah, this was... Original idea of this was brought to me like a couple months ago by a woman from uh, named Doris and her, I guess there may be her husband named Nev. They're not from the U.S. Um, they wanted to try to sponsor this challenge, but it was too much of a pain in the butt because they weren't, out, weren't in the U.S. So I told them I'd do it anyways. So actually I had one of my, I didn't cook this. I couldn't cook this. This would have been a mess if I tried to cook this. One of my friends cooked this. His name is Devin. He loves cooking and he did, I think he went too far on this because I think he spent too much time in these mashed potatoes. He told me there's like cream cheese and butter and all kinds, of, I don't know, too much, too good of a food for me, I think. But I'm really appreciative and I'm gonna try to do as best I can in finishing all this. So, uh, yeah, so this is a lot. So 16 pounds, we're gonna do my best. I have to try to conserve the liquids. I better shut up because this will taste way better if it's warm. I'm going to stop the timer. I really don't care about the time, but people like to see the timer anyway, so go like that. Oh, I got some whipped topping here for the apple pie, too. If I get to it, this is a lot of food. All right, so where should I start? Mm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to try my he, uh, my friend Devin. He, my, my whole cook, cook kitchen smells like a smoker because he actually cooked the chick turkey in a smoker. So And the gravy came from that as well, so... Oh, wow. That's really good. He said he um, soaked the turkey in brine of salt and sugar. And I can definitely taste the sweetness from the sugar. That's really good. Wow. That's really, really good. I'm going to have no... I'm going to have some more of that. That's, that's probably the best turkey I've ever had. Usually I like the dark meat better, too. But this is just turkey breast mostly in it. It's really, really good. Wow. All right. Let's try some baked potato. I mean, some um, mashed potato. Yeah, that doesn't taste like my mashed potatoes. That tastes really good. I think he put cheese in there, too. Actually, I think he told me that. I don't know why I didn't remember. Let's try the squash. Oh, very, very buttery. Wow. And I like that because it's like smooth and there's also chunks of squash in there. I think it's squash. I like I like the different textures. Now in the stuffing. Excellent stuffing. Try a Brussels sprout. It looks like they were, looks like they were roasted. And the gravy is really good as well. Uh, and the peas, I did the peas, they just came out of a can, so. It tastes like canned peas. And obviously the, the cranberry sauce did too, because you can see the can. <laughs> so yeah, this is unbelievable. All right, so not fooling around. I got to try to finish all this. It's going to be tough, so let's just dig in. It's 
So my idea is to try to post this on Thanksgiving. So if I end up doing that, happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully I can get it edited by then. I'll try one of these rolls before they cool down. These are King's Hawaiian rolls. So should be pretty good. Let's do a little dunking. I cooked the pie actually. It was a frozen pie. I just, I guess you basically just heat it up in the oven. But I didn't burn it. These potatoes are unbelievable. Huh. So good. I think there's like cranberries mixed in with the vegetables as well. Nice touch. turkey sandwich. I think for once I actually got the temperature correct. It's perfect. Just, just warm. I might have to take the sweatshirt off. It's starting to warm up. Let's see if I actually finish all this. This is quite a lot. Lots of healthy vegetables here. I'm trying to decide what I like the best out of all this stuff. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> it's probably a toss up between the uh, potatoes and the, and the squash. The squash is really buttery, and, but the potatoes are really creamy as well. So can't forget about the turkey too. I don't know. You can tell I'm not eating the peas in the um, cranberry sauce as much because that's stuff I did. <laughs> it's not as good. I wonder if there's any restaurants around that do like a Thanksgiving Day food challenge. That would be pretty good.
All right, getting down to it now. I tried to do a good job slicing the turkey, but I was getting hangry. That's when you're getting hungry and angry, and I just ripped it off, and that's why I got big chunks of turkey. Tell you what though, that turkey is delicious. Let's see if we can put a little sandwich together. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Ugh. I thought I dumped too much gravy in here, but I think it's like just the perfect amount. It's weird, the turkey's not dry at all. Usually like white meat, the breast is like dry. I don't know if that's because the, the briny soaked it in or... It's almost like a uh, consistency of like a piece of ham. Very good. No eggnog. Wanted to try to do something a little different. I've done a lot of eggnog videos. So. It is still one of my favorite drinks, though. You can see I started out good. I cut them nice and thin. Then I got hangry. Sorry about eating like that. I don't have a knife to cut the chick turkey. Is me as cranberry sauce go really good with peas? Oh, this tastes good. Last roll. Oh, thank God, I'm getting full. All right. Little piece of cartilage here, but besides that, I think we did a pretty good job on that. Huh, now we got this pie. And this is not a, uh, it's not that small of a pie. Whew. I'll do my best. I'll see if I can get this done. Ugh. Excellent. 
actually. I know I didn't burn it, but I hope I cooked it all the way through. Let me see. Yeah, I think so. Tastes like fresh apples, even though it was a frozen pie. Oh, I think the box said it was made from apple orchard apples. So. But where else did apples come from? <laughs> it said fresh apple or orchard apples, I think. Hmm. Whew. Does anybody ever remember way, way back? Snapple came out with an apple pie flavored iced tea. Oh, that stuff was so good. I wish they'd bring that back. It was really good. So I ate the middle out of the pie. All my favorite pie. I'll try to get this crust down. Let's see how I do. So yeah, try to see if I can dip it here. Not a bad time, actually. So I didn't actually weigh this pie. That was the weight on the box. I think it was two pounds, two ounces. So I'm just counting as two pounds. All right. <clears throat> actually, this is Quality Farms Whipped Topping. So it's gotta be good if it comes from quality farms. Actually, it's pretty good. All right, so yeah, that's, whew, that's a good meal. 16 and a half pound Thanksgiving dinner. Hope you're watching this on Thanksgiving day and you're having a good dinner. I should probably finish this too. Oh. So messy. All right. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Thanks for Doris and Dev for wanting to sponsor this video, but I did it anyways. And thanks to my friend Devin for making it for me. Oh, gotta stop the clock. And yeah, have a happy Thanksgiving.